Hey guys, welcome back to my art channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my floor plans and render using alcohol markers and other materials. So for this output, I used my Touch New and Touch 5 and Touch 10 alcohol markers as well as the Unipin fine liners. And yeah, if you're curious on my art process on how I made this output, then keep on watching. So first, I'm going to get my small piece of paper and for this output, I'm going to be using a watercolor paper and it's just a really small size around 10 centimeters or 15 centimeters and I use watercolor paper because I plan on using what um, alcohol markers and it can get kind of dirty so watercolor paper makes it really neat and it absorbs all the color nicely so first thing i will do is i am going to sketch the layout of my floor plan and usually this is the most um, matagal part or like the taxing part because you really have to think about your placings about your furniture and your relationship of spaces like the living room the dining room the bedroom and the bathrooms and for this output it's actually a resort bungalow type of house it's not really a full-blown house with concrete etc it's more of a like a bahai kubo inspired um house so yeah as you can see in the front part of the house i have stairs leading to a pool just like the expensive resorts you see in Pinterest. And as you can see, I'm erasing the pencil marks on the floor plan because I'm about to ink it. And that technique is usually good for inking because your hand won't smudge the pencil marks and you should only erase it lightly so you can still see the furniture and can still trace it with the Unipin fine liners. So yeah, for drawing the furnitures, I actually used a furniture template I bought on Shopee and on Jollies. If you buy on Jollies, they have a lot of options like the Rotring or like the cheap brands. But I'm poor, so I just bought mine from Shopee. I bought mine for around 50 pesos or 80 pesos for the one is to 100 and one is to 200 so if you're interested on that price and that quality it has okay quality but maybe it breaks faster than the rotting because the rotting one is flexible and stretchy no not really stretchy but it's bendable and the cheap ones are like purely plastic so yeah you might consider that after inking your drawings i like to erase mine with a kneaded eraser just to you know clean the pencil areas that i don't need anymore just to make it a little more cleaner and right now i am doing the title at the bottom part of the artwork or output which is a typical carabao huts floor plan me and my partner made this plate this plate was actually a group output and this was not the only output to be submitted so you need a site development plan, a floor plan, a perspective, elevation, and a section. And I made the floor plans, the site development plan, and the perspective. So last week, I posted a video about rendering a site development plan of a beach front. And I'll put the link in the description box below if you're interested on checking it out. And next week, I will also be posting the perspective output on my floor plan so right now i'm making the floor finish of the bahai kubo which are bamboo bamboo sticks or that's if that's what you call it yeah i used a point three for all of those bamboo lines thingies so right now i'm going to be coloring the output using my alcohol markers so i actually made a diy tutorial on how i made this alcohol marker storage so i'll put the link in the description box below if you want and yeah so for this output i'm going to use just three colors which are mainly brown shades we have the burnt orange the 
rose beige and the chestnut brown so for the flooring i will use a rose beige shade looking at my color swatches i think that this was the most appropriate brown color for the floor because i plan to make the furniture a little dark and more of a chestnut brown type of furniture and for the soft furniture like the couch and the bed sheets i plan to make it peach a little peach a lighter tone for a cleaner look so right now i'm basically doing a time lapse of my coloring process and I also added shadows on my floor plan and in doing so you should always take into consideration the site analysis you have like the sun direction and the shadow should always be facing opposite the sun because common sense duh and right now I'm going to label all my spaces like the kitchen the dining area using um, a unipin fine liner so Usually the text height should only be 0.3 cm Yeah, just to make it a little cleaner and right now it's looking a little dark Because I think I used a 0.3 marker, but you should only use a 0.2 or a 0.1 when labeling your spaces So this one's just extra. I just colored the section label and right now I'm doing the title and the separation thingy and usually the title has the label of the plan and the scale so for this scale i used a 1 is to 100 scale and lastly don't forget to erase all the pencil marks you made around the sides just to have a cleaner and more presentable look the finished output i made is actually a site on plan and i realized late so i just added a sea background with waves and sea foam around it right there and yeah this is the final output i made and as you can see these are the materials i used the touch 5 and the touch 10 alcohol markers right here these are the color codes you can screenshot them if you want and yeah i also have the rest of the markers right there and the color swatch reference right here and that's it for the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you in the next one